Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Manu Josh Tech. There is something which I want to share with you. Do you know that it's possible to make a passive income with Wi-Fi? I know most people are doing it, but if you don't do it in a right way, you won't notice the money that is coming. So today, I want to show you how that is possible. Just become we are just sitting, money comes in, then if you do your arithmetic very carefully, you will notice that there is money which is coming. So, stay tuned and subscribe please. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, for you to have a passive income with the Wi-Fi, there are some few things which you, you must employ. So, the first thing that you must have, you must have a very stable internet. A very stable internet. Stable internet, you can just look around, you can fish around and look who is the best provider around. Then you see their policy, then they, they, you agree with them to give you a bandwidth, or you can look at a local ISP, then it gives you internet, then you are good to go to step number two. So step number one, you must have a stable internet. That's stable, step number one. Step number two, you must have a microtic. A microtic. The, the goodness with microtic, they are of different types of microtech based on the capacity that you want. But just for a start, just start with a very low microtech. Like the simplest microtech is this one. This one is called Haplite. Haplite. This this goes to, from a cost of goes from a cost of twenty five dollars to I think it's around twenty five dollars. Between $25 and $35, $35, based on where you are going to get it. But you can also get, uh, you can also get them locally, maybe second, uh, second hand, which goes for around between uh, two, $20 and, uh, between $20 and uh, $15. Just as simple as that. So, you can look for this simple microtech, they are locally available. Or you can opt to go to 951. This one is the performance is much more better. So if you go to this one, this one goes from I think it's like fifty dollars between fifty dollars and fifty to seventy five dollars around there, based on where you are going to get them. But if you look for second hand, you can get to as cheap as maybe forty US dollar, something like that. So this one is a 951. If you don't know, if you don't know, so. If I look at it, if I have a look at it, this one is 951. Yeah. So you can start with this one, but this is the one which is uh, mostly recommended for a start. Or there are different type of microtech. So you can just fish around and see what microtech you can have, you can you, you are able to afford. So after having the microtech, now you go to step number three. The step number three, you must have you must have the infrastructure. Just set up a very simple infrastructure. So by by that I mean, you have to put up your infrastructure in place so that it can go close to your customers. Because you need to target an area where maybe if it is an household, you have to see how you are going to set your infrastructure. So infrastructure, I mean that the infrastructure carries the signal from the microtech itself, comes from the microtech, then it goes to the infrastructure. The infrastructure is, uh, these are just the routers, the access points. Yeah, we normally call them access points. So I'm having here some few access points. The one which is normally known, and the access point should should be broadcasting 2.4 gigahertz because most of the phones they normally they are 2.4. So when you are going for an access point, make sure that you get an access point which broadcasts 2.4. So I'm having here a different type of access point. There's uh, there's this one. This one is a unified mesh. So look at it. Yeah, this is one of the best outdoor access point. And it's one of the best 
in fact, suspense. so you can just shop around and see how much it comes. So I think it's going for around 130 US dollar, something like that. So after getting that, you can get also there's M2. There's M2 local. Unfortunately, I don't have it here. Mine are outside working for my. They're working for me. There are different type of access point. This one, this one also is just an indoor access point. This one is just this one is just a normal router, but it acts as an access point. This TP TP also are, are doing good, great work. So they have come up with different type of access point. So there's this type of also access point. See this type of access point. This one also is another access point. So by access point, I mean that you should get something which broadcast 2.4. There are different type of access point. Then there's that one. Also, there's a microtic access point. This one also broadcasts 2.4, but there's also 5 gigahertz and 2.4, so you should know which type you are targeting. So there are different type of access point. There's also this one. This one is a cambium, so you can uh, fish around and see which type of access point you can get. Or you can also locally make for yourself access point. So it's not a must that you have to buy access point, provided you know how to configure it. So you can also look for this Huawei, this Japanese router. Like I'm having here one, I, I, I was working here on the one, so this one. So if you look at this, it's just a Huawei. So this one, you can see how you can configure it, so that it can, this one normally broadcast 2.4 and 5 gigas, the advantage with these Gpons. So, this one you can configure it to be an access point. Then, after you have, you have fish for an access point, you know the good part is that, if you can afford them, you can buy them. It's not that it's not a must that you must have the technical knowledge. It's not a must. So you, you can just buy the microtic. You, you get the internet, you buy the microtic, then you look for for an ISP who can do for you configuration. Then after the ISP has done for you configuration, then you just set them somewhere. Then they start giving you money. Then now the most important part is that you must have if possible and the one which I normally request is that if you can automate your system so if you automate your system then your system automatically is going to be generating the password then it sends automatically to the customer so that is where because I know that most most of these things are there but automation there are some few, you, you can fish around, there are some people who normally do automation of your system. So, you check where you are, so that you can get the automation. So, if you get the automation in place, then automatically you'll just start getting money. You'll earn. Then, we can do a simple arithmetic, like, if maybe, if you get like, maybe say that, okay, generally it depends how much you are charging your, subs your subscription. So, the cheap, the cheapest one is like you can charge like let's say 0 0.2 dollars, yeah, for one phone maybe for 24 hours or you can charge 0 0.5 up to a maximum of 0 0.5 dollar based on the where you are. So this one the pricing depends on where you are and the market trend because there is a market trend which is there. So you just have to check the market trend. So I'm just giving you an example. If you maybe if you are charging like let's say 0 0.2 US dollar, so with 0 0.2 US dollars, then maybe per day you target like 100 customers, so you target like 100 phones. So that one, if you multiply 0 0.2 US dollar, then multiply times, you, you multiply times maybe 100. So that one I'll be talking of, I'll be talking of having like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk of per day, you can make up to 200 US dollars. Is, that, is it 200 or, yeah, it's around 200, you, are, you can make 20 US dollar. So if you make 20 US dollar, then maybe if you multiply it, if you do your arithmetic, you'll find that there's money which is coming in. So if you, if you can make like, if you have 100 subscribers per day, then with 100 subscribers, so it's something which is just, money is coming in, then multiply times 30 days. We find that you can go up, to, you can make as much as 600 US dollar per month. That's what I'm talking about. With 600 US dollar, that one is that you have, your equipment is working for you. Very simple. Yeah. So, the most important part is that if you have the automated system, then you'll start seeing cash flow flowing. That's why 
I want to, sh to go deeper into automated system, then you see how the automated system. So with me, I'm hosted with Comcast network. So my system is automated with Comcast. So they are the one who have given the job for automation. So stay tuned, I'll show you how Comcast work. Welcome back to Manu Josh YouTube channel. So, this is how the Comcast network works. So, move to the Wi-Fi designated area. Search for Comcast Wi-Fi. Then after signing in, it's going to give you a, a place where you are going to put your phone number. Put your phone number. Choose your plan. After choosing your plan, then it's going to prompt in an M-Pesa pin. Input your M-Pesa pin. Then automatically it connects. As simple as that. And you are done. So you have started making passive income. Thank you. The next step that I want to take you, I want to take you physically where I'm having a designated Wi-Fi hotspot you see how we you can make money from the wi-fi otherwise stay tuned 